Welcome to Res Life Sundays Online. Find a comfy spot and get ready for some amazing student leadership. While we wait, let's take a look at what's happening in Res Life. Represent is our current message series. It happens once a year and kicks off by kicking adults out. Students are taking over every aspect and they kill it. Keep coming back for more Represent through the month of June right here on our channel. Have you heard about Res Life Live yet? Imagine your favorite talk show combined with your favorite game show and add in a huge amount of laughs. All our favorite Res Life staff members will entertain students and give out prizes. It's all at 6.15 p.m. on Wednesdays on this channel. Subscribe so you don't miss it. If you're looking for a deeper dive, join a Zoom Sunday group this summer. 8th grade grads through 12th graders, aka high school, start at 10.30 on Sunday. 6th and 7th graders meet right after this video. Make sure to text in at the end for the info you'll need to join a group. Let us know how we can be praying with you. Click the link in the video description below to submit a prayer request and we will begin praying with you. We are starting up summer Bible studies for both high school and middle school. Register at core.org to go deeper in your faith with peers this summer. Confirmation registration at Leewood is now open to students going into the 8th through 12th grade. Go to core.org slash confirmation to learn more and sign up. High school students who have already been confirmed can also be a junior mentor, which is a super cool role, so look into it. If you're so incredibly done with Zoom, sign up to say hi to staff in person in your own driveway. We'll keep a safe distance, but stop by for a fun chat. When you look at me, who do you see? When you look at me, what do you see? When you see me, what do you think I am about? What do you think I stand for? I am just one person. But I stand for something much bigger than myself. My life was given to me by God. And I want to use my life to show God to the world. Some people say that youth are the future of the church. But youth are the present of the church too. We are the church right now. When you see me, I hope you see God shining through me. It's my time. It's your time. It's our time to, to represent. represent. Hey everyone, I'm Will Hudler and I went to Blue Valley West High School. I graduated but still haven't gotten my diploma so I don't really know what I am yet. <laughs> but I'm going to be going to Johnson County Community College next year and play baseball while I'm getting my associate's degree. And today I kind of just wanted to talk about my faith journey and a story that involves my faith journey and a scripture that really means a lot to me that resonates with my story and then an example that kind of goes with it. So my story starts with metamorphosis. Now metamorphosis, every year I've been, I went sixth, seventh, eighth grade, freshman year, and then my family went on a vacation my sophomore and my junior year. So my senior year meta was probably one of the best metamorphoses I've ever been to because I was looking so forward to it. I never, I hadn't been the past two years and I, I couldn't wait to just spend two days with, with everyone I love. And so we were at a bonfire and we were all singing around it and we all had our hands out while we were walking back and just, opening ourselves up to God and what he could do for us in our lives. And prior to me being at Metamorphosis, I felt incredibly disconnected. I felt like I I didn't read a devotional. I didn't 
do what was necessary to have a good relationship with God. And then I was reminded by a very smart person that that's what relationships are like, you know, God and, you know, relationships with friends. Sometimes you won't be as close with them, but they'll still be your friends. And I was walking back with my hands up and I was making sure that I wasn't the first one in, but kind of the last one because I started crying. I started crying as I was walking back and as soon as I got outside of our cabin, I just, I stood there and I just looked up at the stars and there was not a cloud in the sky. So every star was out and the moon was out too. It was just, it was breathtaking. And I wasn't the last one as a matter of fact because Jimmy Stubbers and Jacob Punch also were behind me. I didn't know that, so I just I kept standing there. I didn't let it I didn't let them bother me, but then once they saw me standing there, they both went silent because they were having a conversation and they just sat or stood on both sides of me with their hands up. And they didn't say a word, and I didn't say a word. And it was amazing. And after after about 5 minutes, we got a, we had a group hug and I was reassured that no matter how I feel, no matter how disconnected I feel, God's always still going to be there. He's never, ever going to abandon you. Not for one second of any moment. And with that being said, that's why John 3.16 is my favorite verse. Because for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. And for those who believeth in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. And it just makes me remember every single time what God did for us, what Jesus did for us on the cross. And it, it amazes me how somebody could sacrifice their life for the entire human race and be completely okay with it because God will always be there. He, he knew that he was, he, that wasn't his last time coming back. He knew he was always going to be here. And I love to make this example every time that I talk about this, but I, I use Toy Story as kind of kind of a reference point. Throughout the throughout the three move three or four movies, Andy's growing up. Andy is going off to college or moving on with his life. And the toys, they just they just sit there and they gather dust. And I kind of viewed my religious experience as me being Andy. I was growing up. I'm growing up now and I feel like I was putting God on the shelf, you know, putting God in in the cupboard where the old toys go to collect dust and break. But I knew that if I put God on the shelf, he wasn't he wasn't going to get gather dust. He was still going to be there for me every single time I called upon him. Every single time I wanted to play kind of I know that God is the perfect toy. <laughs> it's, a, it's a crazy reference, but God will never get old. His parts will never fall off. You'll never have to replace him. He is there to stay. And that being said, I challenge every single one of you to remember God every single morning when you wake up. Before you get on your phone, before you go on any kind of social media app, Read some devotional, pray, do something. Don't put God on the shelf like I have. Thank you very much.
Thanks so much for watching. To connect with the Zoom group, text in now. If you like what we're up to, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Have a great week and we'll see you again soon.